So I went to two colleges, College A and College B. At College A, I started off as an economics major. I chose economics because I did not know what the hell I wanted to do and I literally chose anything. Economics was closest to business and business was so broad, it was kind of like doing liberal arts. So I chose economics. So the first few weeks, um, like literally, I didn't even know what I was learning in school because I literally had no interest in anything I was learning. Um, people were coming to this three hour class so enthusiastic and I had no reason why, it was 7 a.m. And I'm just like, why well, am I the only person feeling like I don't want to be here? But people were so excited to learn about what they learned last week and further detail and stuff like that. And I'm just like, maybe it's just me. Maybe, you know, I'm tired. You know, I had work last night, whatever. They were really into it. And weeks later, I'm figuring it out. Like, economics is not for me. I don't care about there's five corner stores on the blocks. Yes, it's great to know supply and demand, but I don't want to know it in depth, you know? So that's when I knew economics was not for me. And I parted ways with that second major i chose was psychology now psychology people kept coming in my head and talking about Miltiana, you know that's not the expectations i had for you i don't think psychology will get you where you need to go in life what are you going to do with psychology do you plan on getting your phd or your master's you're not going to make any money with psychology Miltiana. i'm like wow maybe you're right you know because i'm literally just got out of high school so i'm like you guys are adults you guys know what is what you know right from wrong or something like that you guys are more experienced so i'm just gonna listen to you guys like maybe i'll just not make enough maybe i can't get the house i want maybe i'll be a broke ass bitch for life who knows <laughs> so um you know psychology is a very interesting subject don't get me wrong as well as economics if that's the major you like that's you but for me no economics was a hell no psychology i like to learn about um i think it's something certain things you should know um, within psychology so I'm saying yeah go ahead take psychology 101 and sociology 101 like I learned a lot I learned a lot of things I didn't know and I had a great time learning about it but when people started coming in my head talking to me about expectations and how most times I don't think that's where you fit in major wise and counselors was like you know psychology you just came from business man and I'm just like okay all right, so maybe psychology isn't it. You don't know, maybe that's just not where it's hitting at. Mm-hmm, okay. So I switch majors again. Why the hell in a year and a half do I have three majors already? So the third major I chose was film and movie production. I truly and honestly felt connected to that as a major. It was 75% hands on and I love that I didn't have to sit in a classroom for long periods of time, which I absolutely hate and dreaded. I always ended up on YouTube and unfocused and I feel like I just need to be up and active. Like, come on, like, what's next? What what we doing? 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 You know? And that film and movie production kind of gave me the opportunity to do that. And I was also taking photography. So the challenges that came with, you know, going outside, taking pictures um, from certain apertures and just different angles with different lightings and different heights and stuff like that was really interesting. You know, finding people, you know, who live in my neighborhood and reconnecting with them to make videos for my project and stuff like that was really fun. You know, making these fun videos. I was over here renting out spaces to go record videos so my video could be popping like i was doing the most and i felt like you know if i'm doing this much for this video then this major really is you know like i'm clicking with it if i'm doing this i wouldn't do all this extra stuff for something that i really didn't like so that's how i knew like yo this this is it this could maybe be it but like again you know people's in the back of my head telling me filming movie production so what black girls can't be in filming movie production is it just you know everyone else just not me or i'm just the only black person that can't be in it Film and movie production brought me a lot of, lot of opportunities. I ended up uh, meeting a lot of amazing people and that's kind of where I started to form my group. And no other major did I literally form a group of friends or any people that I chilled with outside of class. Cause he just had the same mindset. We was just kind of on the same page. We like to do the same thing. So it was just like very interesting of, you know, with a lot of people who I grew up with, like we have some similarities and a lot of people you only talk with because I mean, you're in a class five days a week with them. But film and major production literally brought me a lot of opportunities. I ended up getting an internship at YouTube. Like what? Who would have ever knew little old me would have got an internship at YouTube? Meeting so much creators behind the scene, people who work in YouTube. Ended up meeting a lot of YouTubers come in and just, um, you know, talking with managers and consultants and stuff like that. Ended up going in the green room and touching their equipment that cost so much money, I probably still can't even pay that shit back. Like it was just such a fun and amazing opportunity that film and production brought me. And when you start doing things you love and you start really like 
pushing hard into it like trust me that's when you know your blessings kind of start rolling in that's when you're not listening to people behind your back tell you what to do now me still being stupid i'm over here listening to what people are telling me what to do and that's where i got caught up and and people was just like no you know like don't do this like who the hell does film and movie production my little old heart broke so bad I, I literally just left that school because i'm just like maybe this school is just not for me because literally every major i chose it was a problem with someone it wasn't meeting someone's expectation but you know now that i know that i'm only supposed to meet my own expectations it's my degree i'm the one doing the homework i'm the one passing these classes i don't give a shit what you want or what you don't want but that's the kind of like the mindset you have to have because people will literally keep telling you what to do and not tell themselves what to do <laughs> so it's very annoying so like I said, I left that school. I left with a 3.7 GPA. I did exceptionally well. Um, but I left, like I said, because I didn't even know who I was at this point anymore. Because I kept switching majors. I felt like I didn't know what to do. I just felt lost. I felt really, really lost. So I just kind of like left that school. Um, I went to college B now. Then I went into pre-physical therapy. Now how the hell did I go from filming movie production to pre-physical therapy how did i even enter the health field I have no interest in the health field so if it was one thing people can say multiana become a nurse why like because you're a nurse because everyone else is a nurse like why do i have to become a nurse i don't want to become a nurse but here's me not listening to myself and what i truly want i do something in the nurse field something nurse related and i just said okay i'll do pre-physical therapy it's somewhat there but not there and also because um you know my brother who passed away or rest in peace um passed away from cancer he was getting his master's in um occupational therapy so he was kind of telling me to kind of get into this therapy field you know that college b didn't have occupational therapy but they had physical therapy so what did i do i go sign up for physical therapy and here's me like what the hell am i doing in physical therapy i don't even know why i'm here applying for this major i don't even know why i'm here you know doing all this extra shit i'm like so lost and confused i'm just like at this point i'm just gonna graduate whatever degree and be happy i started forcing myself to like it i'm just like hey as a pta you could um you could you know travel you could do a lot of stuff so i'm like hey maybe i could do that i could use that as a, a vehicle so i could travel you know around the world and maybe do my youtube on the side as a pre a physical therapist assistant but then it's just like now looking back i'm like damn i got my back gonna be here every day i'm gonna catch arthritis helping people you know with their physical therapy pains and and other um you know medical reasons they're here at the uh, office for I'm like, this is just not it. <sighs> I was pregnant enough a few months later into the program to drop my classes. I thought that was literally a blessing. Probably like, how is that a blessing? Yeah, because she saved me from uh, putting myself in a position now which I did not want to be in. Or you could say I was kind of forcing myself to be in because I kept listening to everybody else. So it kind of gave me time to kind of step back and made me realize who the hell I am, what I want to do, what I want to do as Miltiana, not what other people want me to do. And what I want to do is film and movie production. Now I can't go back and take classes at college a because um i didn't finish the rest of the classes at college b because you know they all you know knew i was pregnant and stuff like that so it was kind of like um unfinished classes marked on my stuff and i would have to go back finish those classes then transfer back and i'm not doing that because i'm just not interested in physical therapy and i feel like that's kind of a waste of my time so i mean i mean in this day and age you can learn a lot of things online so i'm kind of self-teaching myself how to do a lot of things so i'm just going to kind of do it my way now am i doing something currently education wise i'm not going to say because because I don't believe in kind of telling what you're doing now to people um especially because you never know who wants you to do bad who wants who's going to talk down on you who's going to say bad things and I do believe in the evil eye I believe in it very heavy so until it's completed you're not going to know what I'm doing trust and believe and I feel like a lot of people should do that as well but I mean a lot of people don't believe in it so I mean that's 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 on you but I believe in it heavy I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing until it's done because people talk down on you and I just feel like I don't need your negative energy I don't need you talking down on my successes the stuff that i feel like is important to me i don't need it keep it over there when it's finished and done with then you'll know yeah i try to summarize everything as fast as i could do um hear noise in the background that is my daughter like i said that's why i ended up i'm leaving physical therapy and i find i find that as a blessing because it kind of made me realize what i wasn't supposed to do and what i'm actually supposed to be doing so like i said patience is key your blessings will take time to come so just feel like because you didn't get to graduate when everyone else is graduating that um you know your time is not now because everyone has their own time so i mean that's it like choose a major you truly love no matter what you'll make money or you'll be satisfied doing what you're doing for life you know then listening to other people and kind of switching your major because if you love to do something you'll never work at all even though i don't believe that you'll still be working but it just kind of takes off from the oh, i gotta go to work it's like oh, man i love these kids but let's let's go work let's go work at the daycare now these kids get me upset but let's go work at the daycare you know it just kind of gives you that different feeling so like i said without further ado i'll just see you guys next week